in, in advance you know, about the destruction of the world. So you know, about, say, up to you know, 10,000 or 20,000 years you know, earlier, they informed the people about this. So the people, out of fright, you know, perform good deeds and undertake samatha meditation, that is tranquility meditation, to attain the higher jhanas in order to be reborn in a higher celestial plane so as to escape the calamity. So when the, uh, the, the earth is going to be destroyed by fire, so all, the, all the, 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 the rams up to three first jhana plane will be destroyed. Then you have to try to, to, you know, to develop the second jhana to be born in the second jhana realm so that you can escape you know, the, the burning of the earth. So when the, the earth is going to be destroyed you know, by water, so you know, at that time all three second jhana planes will be destroyed, then you have to attain at least that jhana you know, to be born in that jhana plane. So when the, the earth is going to be destroyed by wind, so all these three tajana, you know, planes are all, will also be destroyed. Then you have to meditate until you attain the food jhana, not the food jhana. So the Buddha said we have lived uncountable, you no, know, was on the existence already, and we we, we will encounter this, you know, this calamity. And then at that time, our oh, pride, we try to meditate. So we also have a day, you know, the jhana in the previous life. <laughs> so if you try hard this year, the, this life, you will attain the jhana. You know? So you should have you know, the, 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 the belief like that. Okay. So I think you know, we finish chapter 5 now. So, oh, we come to here. Four kinds of karma, very important, no? And it's very nice to learn about the karma. So I, I first, no, I describe about the karma, no, for almost two pages, I think. And it is good information for you to know. So we read together. Karma, in Sanskrit it is called karma, literally means volitional action or intentional deed. As a rule, good actions bear good results, and bad actions bear bad results. Now, action may be performed by bodily movement, that we call kaya, no? and then by words of mouth, vachi, or by thought, mano. But the body and the, ma the mouth cannot move on their own accord. They have to be moved by the mind through mind-born materiality, chaitya rupa, no? chaitya rupa. Again, chaitya, no? consciousness is just the awareness of a sense object. It does not give no, the order or direction to perform an action on its own accord. It is the volition chaitana which prompts no? the consciousness and its concomitant. So concomitant means the consciousness and mental, mental factors you know, associated with the volition. So to perform you know, their respective action to accomplish the action. So Chaitanya is responsible for carrying out an action. Thus, strictly speaking, karma means all moral and immoral volitions, Chaitanya, the volition having the root in ignorance moha, greed or attachment lopa, anger dosa is evil. The volition which is accompanied by generosity are lopa, goodwill are dosa, and wisdom panya is wholesome. In, all, in other words, the chaitanas present in 12 akusala chaitas are uh, in moral karma, whereas the chaitanas present in eight maha kusala chaita, five rupa vajra kusala chaita, and four rupa vajra kusala chaitas are moral karma. You know, you can show chat number one. We, we, go, we go on reading. Now chaitana and its concomitant, 
No, it's concomitant sa consciousness and mental factors other than chitana itself. So they perish after performing their respective purposes. But <coughs> before they perish, they leave their karmic property in the chitta stream. And this karma, now karmic property is the potential karma which will produce its due effect in some proper time. And the effect will fall on the doer himself. It is somewhat analogous to Newton's third law of motion in physics. The law states that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Thus, a person who performs a good or bad action should expect an equal and opposite reaction either in this light or in some future light for many existences. You will see no, later no, the <coughs> karma can be resolved starting from this light. Starting from this light, next light, next light and no, continuously till your last light when you become an arhat. No? Okay. Furthermore, that opposite reaction may come many times as the karma has been multiplied to more than a billion four by the property of the mind. How? As mentioned earlier, minds can occur at the rate of more than a trillion. No, one trillion is equal to one thousand billion. No, one thousand billion times by I wing. So many billion minds accompanied by volition of killing a mosquito will arise in striking the mosquito. These many billion minds together with the volitions of killing will deposit many billion karma seeds in the Chaita stream. As a vegetable, no, a vegetable seed gives rise to a new plant of the same kind of the tree which gives the seed, so also a karma seed will produce a new being in a plane appropriate to the original karma. And in moral karma will give rebirth in a woeful plane, whereas in moral karma will give rebirth in a blissful plane. No? Just as many billion in moral karmas are produced in a single action no, of killing an animal, so too in performing a wholesome deed such as giving charity, no, many billion moral karmas are produced. Thus the number of moral karmas as well as in moral karmas accumulated in this life as well as in uncountable past lives are so numerous that it cannot be handled by a supercomputer. Yet all these karmas are in the mental stream of each individual following him wherever he emerges in a new life. Just as every object is accompanied by a shadow, even so every karma is accompanied by its due effect. Karma is action and vipaka is reaction or fruit or result. It is the cause and the effect. Like a seed is karma, like a plant is vipaka. As we sow, so we reap either in this life or in a future life. What we reap today is what we have sown either in the present or in the, in the past. What we sow today, we shall reap in the future. Karma is a law in itself and it operates in its own fee without any intervention of an external ruling agency. In hearing in karma is the potentiality of producing its due effect. 
Gamma is the cause, Vipaka is the effect. The cause produces the effect, the effect explains the cause. The law of cause and effect rules everywhere. Though we cannot know the individual kamas in a person, we can classify the kamas into several types as described by the Buddha and predict when, where, and how each type will bear its result. So, karma really exists. No, really exists. So, no, as the result, no, we'll verify no, the law of karma. No, so, we get many verification no, the, about this karma. No, so, no, the nature is very, very no, the remarkable. No, like all the plants, no, they have the way how to reduce no, this, this plant. No? So again and again. No? So like no? a mango will bear mango fruits, and then after you, you have eaten, no? if you plant that mango seed no? on the earth, a new mango tree will, will rise, bear the same kind of fruits again, and again produce many seeds. So each seed can give rise to a new plant. <laughs> so it goes on this rotation. No? So, so now, how many kinds of fruit on earth? <laughs> uncountable, no, uncountable, no, uncountable number of trees, no, various varieties of tree. So all these are not the action of karma, natural process actually. And now, not for living being, not to produce living beings again is this karma property, not the karma property. So no, whatever we do, no. Not just like the you know, CCTV camera. No? So all, uh, everything is recorded you know, in our mind. You know? In our mind, you know, what you have done. You are, you know, you are thought, all you are, you know, your action, your behavior, all are recorded here. So if you can watch you know, these, you know, your past, you know, past existence in your mind, so it, it is more interesting to watch the TV. <laughs> But more, more, no, more interesting actually, no? And not the, that, not that property of the mind, not that they, they can arise so fast, no? It's very important, no? Because they arise, no? Even in one snap of the hand, 1,000 billion. So, no? Even we, no? We, we kill, is, no? And, and, no? Or a mosquito, no? So, no, at least one billion no, cheetah will arise and perish. No, so with every no, the, the <coughs> consciousness, volition associate, so this no, volition will also leave behind its property no, in the mind. Every mental factor, they leave their, no, their property in the mind. Now we say sanya perception, take notice of no, the detailed features of each person. So they leave this in the no, this data, no, in the in the mind. So I come to know, no, the mind is the greatest supercomputer. No, even the supercomputer today, no, they have limited, no, limited no, the capacity, no, to do to store the data. They they say maybe no, ten million, no, so twenty million. So no computer can, can, no, can have the data, one billion, <laughs> no computer. So now not the mind can, no, can, no, can store all the data no, in uncountable existences. So many, many billions of no, data are there in the mind. So no, in our mind, no, there are many, many billions of moral karma as well as immoral karmas. No? Which will be more? <laughs> so you, no, you can reason by yourself which is more. No? So now all these come up. So how do they bear result? No? So nobody can explain like this. So the Buddha, he can explain. Now he described, no? he described four kinds of karma according to their function. No?
So when we perform an action, brilliant some karma will be will arise at that time. And of, of this on, on this karma, they will always follow. No, they will be transmitted from mind to mind. Because you know, the mind, as soon as they arise, they perish. As soon as they arise, they perish. And before they perish, you know, all these things are you not know, trans transmitted to the next, the next, the next mind. So they all, they all are you know, in our, in our, you know, in our mind. But you will see later on some, you know, some karma. They have the capacity to produce their result only in this existence. If they don't have the chance to, to, to produce their result, then they will be, become defunct. They become defunct. So they will, they will disappear. And some no, can, can produce in the next life. <laughs> so if they cannot no, they produce the, their, no, their action in the next life, then they will be defunct again. No? And also like in science, they say no, there is an action, there would be an equal and opposite reaction. No? So, we can say here, no, the skamma also try to, you know, it will produce its reaction similar to the action that you done, you have done. No, we have, I have already told you about the Madina, the other day, who killed a little goat, no, just one. And then she was born, no, born in hell many times to be killed, no, many million times. And then she became, no, she, she was born as animals. No, many, many existence. As he, as she killed the goat, cutting you know, the, the the throat of the goat, while the, the goat was still young. So in all these you know, animal existence, she was killed in the same way. No, while young, being cut in the throat. No, so the the karma will, will go on like this. No, so now try to you know, try to. <coughs> So now, now how they, they bear result, you will find here no, some more. So we say, no, all the karma, no, the Buddha, he classified into four, four kinds according to their function. No, function. Function in Pali, we say, Kecha, no, Kecha, Kama, Chatuka. Chatuka is a group of four. So with respect to function, there are four kinds of karma. So one is Janaka Kama, that we call reproductive Kama. So they are the potent, strong Kama, which can produce a new existence. Now when they produce a new existence, they produce mental aggregates and material aggregate at the moment of conception, as well as throughout the lifetime of the individual, it produces a new existence. So, so I think you know, if you, you can show that the last, the last chart again, you know, the chart number nine. Okay, this one. No. So, your chart number nine, the, the lower one. No. So we 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 describe you no, how. No. How the consciousness arises no, in one existence. So we say, no, in your past existence, no, so you have done many, no, many, uh, many actions, so you have no, many karmas. So one of the karma, no, which is like we say, no, Janaka karma, reproductive karma, very strong karma. So when you die in the past existence, no, so your de dead consciousness past existence won't be close to this Patishanti Chaita. No, chitta arise one after another continuously without separation. No, no separation like this. No, we have separation here just to write. No, the, this, the, uh, this materiality, these are no, the kamma rupa, we say. And then no, the re rebirth consciousness. So that kamma, no, like no, for human being, we perform a this with Mahakusala Chaita. So we call the karma that produce no, the, the new existence, Mahakusala Kama. No, Mahakusala Kama. So when it reduces no, its resultant, so it, it will reduce Mahavipaka Chaita associated with all mental factors. Remember, 33 mental factors can associate with Mahavipaka. So these are mental aggregate, we call them. No, mental aggregate. So 
when you, you know you get a conscious and mental factor we say you no know, the feeling is called feeling aggregate you no know, it, it will belong in the feeling aggregate perception will, will belong to perception aggregate and then the remaining mental factors you no know, they will group together as the, the aggregate of uh, aggregate of you know, the formation and then come a formation and then the, the consciousness you know, is called the consciousness aggregate so they are four mental aggregates and then come a rupa is, you know, arises at the same time starting from the rebirth consciousness of you know, the, the arising moment of rebirth consciousness and also come a you know, rupa arise at the existing moment and perishing moment of this you know, the rebirth consciousness and the subsequent you know, the, the consciousness are the same you know, they are identical with the, with the first one you know, as one karma you know, will produce only one type of you know, the resultant consciousness Mahavipaka chitta one of the another continuously throughout your lifespan and your last last you know, the consciousness after that you will die so it is called death consciousness and these are called Boinga Chaita, no? life continuum to keep your mind and your life alive no? you, to keep, no? so your existence to be alive as we say no? when the rebirth consciousness arises Jivitendriya which is no? psychic life and then in Kama Bon Materiality that is material life so they arise together no? they arise together so at the time of death, so no, again, this karma, no, the karma property, you know, the karma born material, the, they will perish. No, when the chaita, the death conscience perishes, so again the light material, the, and the, no, the, material, the, the material life, and the, this, like, this psychic life and material life, they will perish together again. They arise together, and then they will perish together. So you know, this is how one existence is produced you know, in one life. Are you satisfactory? <laughs> so if you are not satisfactory yet, please come and meditate in the thank you. <laughs> you can see, you, know, you can see how this, this life is born. You can see this chitta arising one after another. At the same time you can see come upon materiality mind born materiality and then no, the, the heat born materiality nutrient born materiality arising no, in, in, in your life okay <coughs> we get one comma now we, we say number two upatthambaka kama no, supportive kama which supports the janaka kama the reproductive kama as well as the effect of the janaka kama Throughout the lifetime of the individual, it is not strong enough, you know, these karma are not strong enough to produce a new existence. So they are weaker than reproductive karma, so they can just support you know, the reproductive karma you know, and also you know, to stabilize the, the effects of the reproductive karma. And now we have Upa Pilaga Karma. No, it is obstructive karma, which weakens, interrupts, or retards the function of the janaka karma. No, the janaka karma, and you you should know now, this upa tambaga karma are also no moral karma, moral karma, and this upa pitaka karma would be immoral karma. No, so when we are born. No? So we start with the rebirth consciousness. No? Rebirth consciousness. And we say all the previous karma no? that is along no? the mental stream, that are in the mental stream of the past lives, so they will be transmitted no? from that dead consciousness to this rebirth consciousness. So no? all the, the, the past, no? Good, uh, the moral karma, as well as in moral karma will come along not to this rebirth consciousness and remember not those 
the Moro Karma, they can um, perform as supported Karma, and then the in Moro Karma, they will perform as uh, the obstructive Karma. And in this slide, you know, when we perform meritorious deeds, we, you know, we increase our, you know, the supported karmas, and then when you perform immoral deeds, you increase your obstructive karma. So, if the supported karmas you know, are, you know, they are, they are greater in number and stronger in power than the obstructive karma, so they will have the chance to bear good result. No? So if they have the chance to bear good result, so no, you have many no, good effects, not just as in, on the, no, in your business, so no, you, you succeed. And then no, in whatever you do, you succeed. So many good things arise to you when supported karmas are uh, giving the support. And then when the no, obstructed karmas become greater, so especially when the, no, the people become very rich, they start enjoying sensual pleasure. No? Many forms of sensual pleasure. So I said, while you are enjoying sense pleasure, you decrease your good karma and you are increasing your bad karma. So when their bad karma no, becomes stronger than the supported karma, so they will, they, they will have the chance to bear result. No, one after another, no, one after another will, will bear result. So many you know, bad things will arise in you. So at that time, you know, whatever you do, you fail. <laughs> so there is many you know, the, the bad things arise in you. You, know, arise in you. Maybe you, have, you, know, you will become sick or your family members become sick, get accident or something like that. You know? So because of this, William Shakespeare, <laughs> So you no, know, the, the British dramatist, uh, the dramati, uh, writer, you no, know, the world famous. So he said, "Life is not a bed of roses. <laughs> it is full of ups and downs, ups and downs. So when the supportive karma are not giving is up, you are up. <laughs> so when the obstructive karma, you no, know, they, they become stronger and bear is up, you you get you become down." No? So we have ups and downs in life. And then we have upa gadaga kama, destructive kama. No? Destructive kama, which not only cuts off the effect of the janaga kama, no? that is the reproductive kama, no? and, but also destroys the janaga kama. No? It, well, it destroys this janaga kama and produces its own effect its own effect. In other words, the person dies no, abruptly, immediately, and is reborn in accordance with the upa garaga karma. So if the destructive karma no, so may, uh, no, kills you, it is not good. No? <laughs> because no, this for, the, for us, destructive karma is immoral karma. No? Because no, they are very strong in moral karma, so that they can no, they cut off the our moral reproductive karma, no? and if it, it bears it, its effect, you will be born in no in the Bhupu boat of the dead. No? But again, here is one no, one good the a story. So these stories are actually true stories no? in the in the in the in the, in the, the, the Buddhist canon. No, so they also you know, try to, uh, to, to include you know, these sto two stories to verify you know, what, they, uh, what they, they state here. So during our Buddha's time, you know, there is a girl, you know, maybe about you know, the, you know, the 20 years old maybe, so she has the duty to look over the farm, their farm, now which is outside, not the outside the city, outside the city. So she lived alone in a hut, no, in the in on the farm. So she have to make popcorn every day. <laughs> so you know how to make popcorn. <laughs> so she just eat popcorn, popcorns. 
And then the at one time, no, Venerable Mahakaspa, no, Venerable Mahakaspa, no, is is the tatat, no, tatat highest disciple of the Buddha actually, no, because he is the one. No, when the Buddha passed away at that time, the two, no, right hand and left hand chief disciple, no, they already have passed away. No, they passed away earlier than the Buddha. So no, the this third not person we call Mahakasapa. No, he is the one no, who who got the you know, who conducted the first Buddhist council. No, try to organize all not to collect all the teachings of the Buddha and classify them into three you know, three canons we call Tipitika. So he is the one. And then no, the he and his wife. No, this Mahagaspa and his wife, they are very rich, very rich. They came from the Brahma realm. No? So in the previous life, they are the Brahma. So they die and they come here, no? born no? separately actually. And then no? they are very handsome and no? very beautiful actually. And then when they get married, no? so they don't enjoy sense pleasure. No? They don't enjoy sense pleasure. <laughs> So they say on their bed, no, they have no, the, the flower, no, no, the fl the flower, and also flower row here. So should not, no, should not pass over here. No, they live like that. And then when they no, inherited so many no, the, the property, including the farmlands, so the Mahagasapa, he went to the, to the farmland to, 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 to watch no, what are they doing. So they are plowing the field, and then many, you know, the, 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 what do you call it? Oh, then let me, 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 see that. There you go. At worms, at worms, many at worms will die. As soon as he saw that, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I will renounce the book. Send also the lady, <laughs> his wife. So no, but the, uh, <coughs> before cooking the rice, no, there are some insects in the, in, in the, no, in the, in the rice. So she put it no, in, the, no, in the tree and then put it on the, in the sun. Then the birds come and eat these small insects. So she said, oh, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. So I will also renounce the world. So both of them renounce the world, no, though they are very rich. And then, no, when they get into the forest, and there is not two, two ways there. Well, as we renounce the world, no, you become a, no, the, a bhikkhu. So I will try to become a bhikkhu ni. So they part the, the, the road. And the Buddha no, came to, to meet this, no, the Mahakaspa. No? And then no, at that time, no, the, as he is a rich person, no, he, he already weighed very, very, no, the very nice group, the very nice all group already. So for the Buddha, you know, when he became a Buddha, you know, he took the, the, the cloth, you know, which is used to cover a, a carcass, a human carcass. You know? So there are also maggots there. So the Buddha tried to clean it and you know, wash it. And then you know, she, and, and he, he dyed it. You know? And then he weighed you know, He weighed it. No, to show, no, to, to show the way, not the monk, they, they should also do like this, no, to show the way like that. So now when the, no, the, the Buddha, no, they met him, so why they are talking? Well, you have very nice robe, the Buddha said. So as soon as he said, Buddha said, I will donate my, my, my robe to you. So they exchanged the robe. No, that, so that means no, he is the one no, who, who, who succeeded at the, 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 the the, the Buddha, when the Buddha passed away, no? So, and then no, the, 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 this Mahagaspa usually lived in, no, lived alone, no, in a monastery in the forest, and he developed no, the jhana attainment and extinction attainment very often. You remember extinction attainment, no? The Roda Samapati, so they will stay for seven days, no, in the, in the attainment, so when he came out of the, you know, the extinction attainment, his body needs food you know, very much. So they will go you know, for arms round to get food. 
And before they, he, he, they go around, they always look first. To whom should I, should, should I go for arms round? Because if you cannot donate no, very generously, no, they with, um, very willingly, no, with very good chitana, we, may, we say, you will become rich in seven days. No, if you have the, the chance to donate arms food to them. No? So he, he, he saw that, the, 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 that um, uh, the palm girl, so the, the, you know, the, when was Kasava came you know, to do her. And actually, you know, he can fly from the air and just appear in front of you know, the, the hut. So when the hut saw Mahakaspa, she was very delighted. Now I have to chan the chance to, you know, to give donation to Mahakaspa. So willingly she came and she donated all the popcorn that she, she had made. And then she made a wish. No? So by the help of the, the good karma, this good karma, may I know all the dhamma known by the by the, the, the arahat. So very good, <laughs> very good <laughs> the wishing. So no, the arahat knew already <laughs> all the dhamma to become an arahat. Now she wanted to know that also. No? So no, the when Nasba said, may your good wishes be fulfilled, then he left. And when she returned to the, to the hut, no, remember there will be some people no, to walk on the, on, the, no, on, on, the, on the farm. There was a, no, a, a, a poisonous snake bit her and she died no, in that spot. But she was not just thinking about donating. Oh, I have the chance to, to donate to Mahagasapa. I have the chance to give them the, the donate to the Mahakaspa. It is very no, beneficial thing to do that. So she was not thinking about that when she died. So she was born in Tavdin Sarem. No, she was born in Tavdin Sarem. No? And then immediately she knew about this because no, when you die from the human existence, you are born uh, by, by no, the spontaneous rebirth, remember? So if you are born some Pandinas but you, you know what happened just before. So she said, oh, I must do some meritorious deed. Now I have such, you know, a big mansion, and then all the are you know, made of jewels, and so, you know, so great benefit. So to make this last long, she said, I should perform more, you know, more meritorious deed. So she came down to the Mahakaspa's monastery, you know, so trying to clean you know, the, the, the monastery ground and also try to fill you know, the, the, the drinking pots, etc. So on the third day, you know, the Mahakaspa discovered this. So Mahakaspa came to her and you know, asked her to go out of the you know, monastery. You know, so the, uh, the when Mahakaspa explained to her, we have, you know, the, we monks have the Vinaya rules that you not know, just a man and a, and a woman <laughs> in the same monastery you know, cannot stay like that. So you please go out. I want to do many daughters deed. Let me let me do many daughters deed, she requested. Well I cannot you know, offer that you, you have to leave, so please leave. So she flew up to the sky and she wept. Please let me do many daughters deeds. <laughs> like that no, she was no, she, she was weeping and the Buddha heard about this. No, from his ch and you, uh, freedom chamber, so no, he he no, he sent his image no, to appear in front of her, and the Buddha gave the, the dhamma talk. No, gave the dhamma talk. So the Buddha said, those who perform meritorious deeds should perform more meritorious deeds, no, to get greater greater no, the the benefit. So at that time, when she was no, the reasoning, she became a stream winner. No? So her wish is realized very soon. <laughs> no? So in this way, you, know, the, the, you, you can be born in the, the celestial realm. Now we, we have you know, the, <coughs> the story of Devadatta you know, explaining these four kinds of karma you know, arising in him in, 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 the, in, the, in his last life. We say, now we can read again as an example of operation of the above four kamas. 
the case of Devadatta may be cited. His good productive karma conditions him to be born in a royal family and his continued comforts and prosperity as a prince were due to the action of the reproductive karma as well as the supportive karma, no? reproductive and supportive karma. And then the obstructive, no? obstructive karma came into play when he was excommunicated from the Sangha and subject to much humilia humiliation. Then his serious immoral karma, causing a chism in the Sangha, operated as a destructive karma, which sent him down to the Aviji hell. No? So Devadatta is actually no, brother-in-law of the Buddha. <laughs> so no, the Mahamaya and the Maha Yasodra Devi, no, the, the, the chief queen of Prince Siddhartha, Siddhartha, our Bodhisattva, remember? So no, they were married and then no, they enjoyed the family life for 13 years. And they even have a, cha a son called Rahula. And only at the age of 29, no, our Bodhisattva renounced the world. No, as in the case of the, the Devadatta, no, when the Buddha came to his father's country, no country that is Kapilavata, no, the country, the Sacha, Sacha, no, Sacha clan, they call it. So no, the many princes, they, no, they became, the, they, they entered the dispensation and they, they are ordained as monk. And he was included, no, the Devadatta. And in meditation, no, like Ananda becomes no, the stream winner. And then they are, no, they are also their no, companion, no, the, the, I think, no, the Subhadda, I think, no, that the name. He, he was actually a, tempo, a temporary king no, in the Samadhi city. And he became Arahat, actually, no, that, 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 that prince no, became Arahat. And the Devadatta. He, no, he can develop even supernormal power. He can develop supernormal power. But no, when he get the supernormal power, he wanted to kill the Buddha. No? So, no, the, the reason why he wanted to kill the Buddha is, no, or there is no, a, a, past, a past history, actually. No? And in one existence, no, both of them are no, the, the, the Devadatta and our, 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 no, our Buddha. So they are salesmen. No? They they are sell, uh, selling marbles, no? beautiful marbles. So when they came to one uh, one no, the one village, they have to pass no, the a stream. So now with a boat, so they have to pay no, for, say four dollars each to the uh, to the boat. And then no, the the Buddha let the the Devadatta the salesman to go ahead. So no, he he he. Why he 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 walk along the road? He said, "Whoever wants to have very beautiful marbles, I am selling beautiful marbles. So who wants to like to get? So in a house, no, there is a an old lady, and no, she was previously very rich, but now very poor. So she had no the a granddaughter. So the granddaughter uh, told no her." Um, Grandma, Grandma, I like to have some marbles. So they call him. They call him, and when he came, no, when the Devadatta, no, the, uh, the salesman came in, so no, the, 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 this grandma asked no, the, the, the granddaughter to bring a very old, no, old bow. No? So, so he, he told, he told Devadatta, now your sister wanted to get some marbles. We don't have any money, and I, we have this old, old, no, old bow here, and we, you can take it. So when he get, the, he he handle the bow. It's heavy, it's heavy. So he try to scratch it. No, it's shining like like bow. 
So he knows it is go, it go bo, actually. Now he can get it by just giving, no, if two marbles, he can get it. But he was afraid if he gives just a few marbles, no, the girl would not be satisfied, will ask for some more. So what he said is, oh, you are all bo, it's what nothing. No, I can give any marbles for this. So she went away, he went away. No, he went away so with, the, with the intention to come back <laughs> later on and to get it and to give like, just no, a few marbles like that. And why he was away, the death of our Bodhisattva, no? he came also, also. So I also chanced at the, you know, sell beautiful marbles, who would like to get it? So the, 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 this girl called to him again. And the grandma said the same thing. No, you can take that bow and you can give as marble, as many marble as you like. So when the, the Bodhisattva salesman look at it, Oh, grandma, this is go, a go. Go, made of gold and gold. Gold is, uh, is made of gold, actually. And then I don't have money and enough to give for this. Well, you just give uh, as much as you like. So he, he gave all the money, not that he have so, and all the marbles <laughs> to, to the girl, and all the money, and only she, he asked for eight dollars to, no, to, to give the fare to the boat. <laughs> as soon as he get it, he knew that, that, that he, that uh, the, the, the Devadatta would, would come back. So no, he went very quickly to the, no, to, 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 the, to the boat there. So he said, I will give you no, the eight, eight dollars no, for two percent. And you promise you don't return whoever call you. <laughs> <laughs> so he promised. <laughs> so no, they, they went. When they have no, in the middle of the river there, so now the, the, the Devadatta came, no? because when he returned to this old, no, the old, no, the old house, so he knew that it is already taken by his companions. So, no, this belonged to me, I have to, and I have to get it, so I will get this, he said. So he, he came here, and then the boat, the boat was in the middle of the, the river. He called it, please come back, i like to go to also. No? So no, that the boat would not come. I will give you no, eight dollars, sixteen dollars, thirteen dollars, thirty-two dollars. <laughs> but he didn't come back. No? So he just he keep, kept his promise. He went to there. So when he lost his gold bow, the gold, no bow, which is what many, no many dollars actually. So now, no, she, he felt very, very sad, disappointed, and then we say, no, you have no the very when you have no the no great no, displeasure. Then the Dosa Mula Chita become very strong. So then he vomited blood and he died here. So because of this, in many future existences, whenever no, they, they, they met, he always tried to kill the, the Bodhisattva. So even in this last existence, no, he, he tried to kill the Bodhisattva. So what he did is with this no, the supernormal power, so at that time, no, the Bhimvitsara, King Bhimvitsara had uh, the, the son, no, one son, Ajata Satu. He also came of age there at that time. So he showed his, uh, the supernormal powers to the son. And the prince, no, he didn't know about the Buddha. So no, he, he became a disciple of Devadatta. Devadatta asked him, you kill your father and become king. I will kill the, the, the Buddha and I shall become the Buddha, he said. And Ajaza Satu actually killed his father. No, he became king. And then, no, the, <coughs> with the help of King Ajaza Satu, no, the Devadatta tried to kill the Buddha in many ways. No, they used the, the, no, the big elephant, very white elephant. No, the, 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 no, the, they let the, the elephant drink. No, so many, not the bottles of the alcohol, and then when the, the Buddha came no, on arms row, so they, no, they, they, they let this, uh, this boy and drunken <laughs> elephant to kill the Buddha. So no, the, the, it's very violently, it ran to the Buddha. So the Buddha stopped, and no, they, they did loving kindness. So when you can develop they did loving kindness very intensely, so, the elephant stopped, 
and try to pay homage to the Buddha. <laughs> no? So also, no, he asked the the again the, 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 the Jada Satu no, to help to, to give him many no the the, the Acha Acha men <laughs> who can uh, no, shoot with the bow and try to shoot the Buddha. So no, actually the, nobody can kill the Buddha. No, nobody can kill the Buddha. So he even no, rode down a very big rock from the mountain. No, why the Buddha was having a walk no, on the side of the mountain. So he caused no, a, no, the, a wound at the toe of the Buddha. And that was very, very highness no, the deed already. And later he tried to break no, the, the, the we go, no, to, to cause a chism in the Sangha community. No, and that was the, the highness, no, so to cause a chism in the Sangha community, to break down. So because of that, the Buddha no, excommunicated, no, excommunicated him from the Sangha community. So, no, so they say, now you do, not, you do not belong to the Sangha community already, so we, 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 no, we put your way. And then all the monks that he, he already no, they got to him, they also left to the Buddha. So finally, no, he was very sad, cannot eat, and then he, he became no, the, uh, the bread, uh, the bedridden no, with, with sickness, with disease. And then he has a very great desire to go to the Buddha, no, to pardon for, for his shoes, for his wrongdoing. And so he led his four no, disciples to carry the couch to the... the, uh, the <laughs> so the, the great monastery, Jedawana. No? So when they got to in front of the Jedawana monastery, there was a, a, a very big pond with very clear water they used for drinking water. So no, the, the Devadatta felt very thirsty. So he asked man, please let, them, let me down. I want to, to drink water. So when they, no, they put him down, and as soon as he stepped on the, on the earth, the earth, no, the earth broke, and then Aviji hellfire roses and pour him down to Aviji hell. So, no? okay, no, that is destructive karma, <laughs> destroy him, <laughs> destroy him. Okay, we go to the next, no? four kinds of karma again. According to priority of bearing results. No, Paka Dana Priya Yakama Chatuka, we call it, no? So we respect, with respect to the priority in bearing results, there, there are also four kinds of Kama. So one is Gruga Kama, no? we call it Vaiti Kama, which is so strong that no other Kama can stop its function no, in bearing results in the next life. So no, the Vaiti Kama will have the chance to bear for the, new, the next existence. So in other words, it suddenly produces its results in the next life. So bad Vaiti Kamas no, include Panchanandriya Kama. So Pancha means five. Anandriya means infinite. No, so, no, the very, very bad no, karma, namely creating a chism in the Sangha. So that is no, the most highness, no, the karma. And the second one is wounding the Buddha. So no, Devadatta also committed no, both of these no, highness deeds. And then number three is no, murdering an arahat. Number four is matri matricide, killing the mother. And then number five, parricide, killing the father. So if you commit one of this, so when you die, definitely you will be born in the Aviji hell, no, in the Aviji hell. And then also, no, the Nijada Mecha Deity, Mecha Deity is wrong view, no, wrong view. Niyata means permanent. No, who, no, who, 
who have the, this wrong view, you no, know, the permanently and very strongly, you no, know, cling to that wrong view, you no, know, they are they uh, is also taken as one of the weighty karma. So this person also, when they die, they will be born in hell. They call it a special hell, low country hell, always stuck, always stuck, no, no light at all. On the other hand. So no, the five rupa vajra kusala kamas and four are rupa vajra kusala kamas are good weighty kama. So if you can no, the you 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 can attain this no this uh, the jhana any one of this jhana, and if you can no, maintain that jhana till death, you will be definitely born in the Brahma realm, in the Brahma realm, no. And no other no karma can stop it. And then we say number two is asana sat karma, no? asana karma, proximity karma. That is performed at the time of near death, or remember just before death. No, you may have done the no, a good moral meritorious deed, but you forget about it. But if you remember it at the time of near death, no, it will have the chance to bear result as proximity karma. So remember, if there's weighty karma, it, has, it will have the priority. So when we don't have any good karma, any weighty karma, so asana karma will have the chance to bear result, to produce the next existence. No? So this proximity karma. And that's, I, uh, that's why I said, no, at the time of near death is very important. No, very important, no, near death. So no, if, to do meritorious deed during this, uh, this time, or to remember no, the meritorious deed that you have done before. No? Okay, we go to number three. Achena kama is habitual kama which is performed regularly. Or it may be a karma which is performed once and is recollected no, and remember all the time. So again, no, the, it, it is the third variety. No, if there is no proximity karma and no weighty karma, so habitual karma will have the chance to bear result at the time of death. And katata karma is unspecified karma, which is done once and soon forgotten. Now if we have any weighty karma, it will produce its result when we die and condition our next life according to this karma. If we do not have any weighty karma, which is often the case, then we must rely on proximity karma, no? proximity karma to condition our next life. To get a good proximity karma, sons and daughters, or relatives and friends, should arrange wholesome deeds, no, such as offering robes to the, to the monks, or listening to the Dhamma preaching for the person on his bed or her deathbed. No? So the dying person should also be reminded of his, his past good deeds. So we say a good example is Venerable Sona's father no, in Sri Lanka. So no, Venerable Sona in Sri Lanka, no, the, the Venerable Sona is a, an arahat. So he, no, he, he, st yeah, he stay in the monastery on the, son the Sona Giri here, on the Sona Giri here. His father was, no, he is uh, make a living by hunting, and when he was only too old to go to hunting, he became a monk in his son's no, the monastery. And very soon he fell ill and had a vision that hell hounds were coming up the hill to bite him. So he told his son, no, and he became frightened, you know, so those you know, hair hounds he was, he was seeing. So he asked his son to drive, you know, to drive those hounds away. And you know, when the, the son looked at the downhill, 
no dogs, no harm. No? So he immediately knew that it is near that sign. No? Near that sign. So no? he, we say in the near that sign, no? the, the sign of destiny. No? As he is going to be reborn in hell. So he saw the hell hounds coming up now. So when Ros Osona, no? so, the, so no? as he is an arahat, he knew that and he said, no, I must help my father not to be reborn in the wolf boat. So he asked his disciple no, to pluck flowers and then no, to, to, to place these flowers on the pagoda in the monastery. And then they carried no, the, this, the old man no, with, with his couch and placed near the, the, the pagoda. And then when it was on, no, the <coughs> Ask his father, Father, please pay homage to the uh, to the uh, to the pagoda, and we also no, we have donated no, flowers, many flowers, no, to the pagoda on your behalf, and you please rejoice in this donation. So no, when the no, old man, so no, he saw the pagoda, so he raised his hand, pay homage, and he when no, the, he saw the flowers which had been offered to the, uh, to the Buddha on his behalf, she was very happy. And at that time, the near-death sign changed. So the near-death sign can change, <laughs> that's show. So he told his son, my son, very beautiful stepmothers of yours come to, uh, come to call me to go with them. Should I go with them? So the son already knew, oh, no. Slash or uh, daddy, so now I have come to, to call my father. So he said, Daddy, you go with him. <laughs> with <that. laughs> no. So, no. so as soon as we said that, so he said, Okay, I go. So he died and one was born in Slash or Ram. No. So if we can have our no, parents like that, so it would be very good. No. So when a person is about to die, your friend or something like that, so try to arrange, you not know, to do meritorious state. And also you not know, encourage him you not know, to recall the meritorious deed that he have done in previously. You know? So we, we can help people like that. So now we we go on. Oh, please, thank you. Good. <laughs> 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 okay. Fifteen minutes break. <laughs>